Hi, this is a quick guide how to export your Gaia Terrain to Unreal. Step 1 is to define size and floor it. Go into the Build tab, Terrain Definition and set your project size. In my case it's 1000 meters in height, which is Z in Unreal, and 2000 meters in scale, which is X and Y. Now this is the project scale. To define your actual terrain scale, you have to go to the Export node, Properties, Clamp, drop to the floor and define it either as a percentage of your project scale or as an absolute number in meters, so 400 meters. Now go to your build tab, set the name, PNG, your desired resolution and the range to normalized. That's it, set the destination and start your build. Now in your Unreal project, go to landscape mode, navigate to the height map, in my case it's height map normalized one, it will autofill the resolution, but we need to specify the location and scale. I'll skip on components because this is a context sensitive and in our case just fit to that, I'll do just fine. For the scale X and Y, type in our 2000 meter scale of Gaia multiplied by 100, which is Unreal units, correlates to centimeters, and divide by our terrain resolution. It will autofill both X and Y and it will be 2 kilometers and 2 kilometers in Unreal. Now for the height, we need to import our 400 meters that we desired in the clamp node, multiplied by 100 and divided by 512. 512 is minus 256 to 256 Unreal's internal range and it will remap our terrain into 400 meters that's in Unreal, but it will only position it on the midpoint. And I would advise you to position it either on the waterline or the lowest point. So for that we need to write 400, which is the height of our terrain, multiply by 100 and just divide it by 2. And our terrain is flush in the same position as it was in Gaia on the drop to the floor hit import. I have placed a reference plane which is just a large two kilometer cube positioned on the zero axis and I'll, I'll now measure it to just double check that I did not leave any zeros, I did not make a mistake and I know that this peak is my highest point, this is the ground. I'll exit the landscape mode first hold your middle mouse button, drag the line, it should be somewhere around there. If it's off by a couple of meters, it's it's just because the measuring error, but if it's off by a lot, it's because you made a math mistake somewhere. And that's it. I have also made this graphic, which has the same contents as the video, as a quick guide, or perhaps a better presentation for formulas. And I'll also like to mention that I'll try to update both the video and the quick guide if my information is incorrect or the program changes. So for now, that's it. Goodbye.